right, so in the uh, in the summertime, I did. Well, I, don't know, I think I've done a couple videos before on seeded bivvies, uh, where you're using a poncho and leaning up against a tree and getting cozy and comfortable. And uh, so I'm going to show you. This is a wintertime version of the same thing. And I'm using my Multicam uh, Alpine HD poncho. And I've got my uh, a fleece liner underneath it. And other than that, it's just the clothes I wore to work yesterday. And, um, and it did really well for me last night. Uh, we got down, not, not too cold, but we got down uh, almost to the single digits last night. And had a little breeze blowing down through the canyon here. But uh, I was nice and cozy. Okay, so I've got me a nice spot here. It's pretty level and everything. And so what I did here, just to give me a little, mostly just kind of put my snowshoes down. It gives me a little something off the direct snow. And uh, kind of keeps, the snow's been kind of powdery, so it kind of keeps that from filtering up. So I just laid those down right there and then the, that gave me kind of my base. I'm leaning up against this tree. Okay so now the next thing is just like when I've shown how you build a bow bed and everything we just take our pine boughs. And I'm going to pull them out a little because I'm going to put my backpack up against the back wall there. So what we do is we just take these things and we lay them kind of a herringbone style here with most everything we're going to want uh, back near the back where we're where your rear end is going to be sitting. And you just Work your way out like this. All right, so for this camp I did yesterday and today, this I put everything in this little teardrop pack, this little Jan Sport I've had, God, I don't know, maybe 15 years. <laughs> because I'm not taking sleeping bag, blanket, anything like that, well, this works really, really nice uh, for that. And so. Here's my, my next step of my setup. Now I can just lean against that tree, but I found it's actually a little more comfortable. And I put the backpack up with the part that's normally against my back because that's padded and that's comfortable. Now when I sit down, that gives me a nice backrest right here and then right up against the tree. And that makes a nice, nice, cozy little setup. So now here's my, here's my setup, how we do the how we do the sleeping thing. So you just kind of sit cross-legged up off the snow. Good, so I'm not feeling any cold from underneath me. And uh, I've got my, my poncho all draped around me. Now I can just kind of lean back and get cozy here. And, uh, and I'm good to go. So now here's, the, here's something you can do just like this. Is you take and pull your pull your arms inside like that. And I think I've showed that before. But now just that alone is considerably warmer than having your arms outside. Now one other thing you can do is you reach out here and grab the poncho and pull it inside. So I pulled it inside, it's underneath that corner. Or that outside edge is now underneath my arm. It's between my arm and my chest. And I do that on both sides, and then, and right here in the middle, I just lay my hands down, just kind of on my lap. So now all that is inside, and uh, and I've basically sealed sealed the breeze from coming in and all that sort of thing. So now I'm now I'm pretty cozy, and now. I'm going to show you one more thing that I did that this really, really makes a lot of difference and uh, it's very simple to do. Alright, so, so this is what I really like to do to get uh, really cozy, especially when the weather gets colder.
Did you take one of this? this is a micro Yuko micro uh, candle lantern, and uh, you've probably seen them before on our website or other videos. Um, we take take the paraffin candles that's out that come with them, and we replace those with beeswax candles because I'm going to light this. I'm going to put it inside of my poncho, and uh, and that way uh, I'm not having that sooty nasty smelling paraffin burn candle burning inside me this is a nice beeswax is nice natural you know sweet uh, smell that doesn't have very 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 little soot or anything like that so this is what I'm going to use and I got the idea from some some uh, customers a number of years ago who had telling me that they had used candles inside their ponchos I think in the military at times to keep warm and I like the idea, but I thought it'd be nicer not to have just the open flame inside of there. So this way the flame is all contained inside the lantern. And then you still get the heat that's equivalent to about a 75 to 100, 100 watt incandescent light bulb. So it gives a significant amount of heat inside. And it really helps to take the edge off and make things really nice and cozy. So let me show you how I do it. This is the way I like to do it. I light it, and then what I like to do is I, I've done a bunch of different ways, but I kind of like doing like this. I usually always throw a pair of leather gloves in the bottom of my back, backpack. So what I do is I just put it inside the leather glove just slightly, because what that does, it helps me to position it inside. And so what I do is I light it, I'll take my other hand and reach through and I'll grab it and the nice thing it's not this is just a small candle so it's it's not like it's a blazing fire or anything it's not it's not a lot that you're having to deal with and then I just set it in in between my I'm sitting Indian style so I set it in my legs and I'll lift up here and show you just kind of how I do and I've got a steady supply of heat for about four to five hours inside of there that's just coming up and it's keeping that heat all inside and I can feel it all in my chest and my arms and that whole area it's just uh, it's just enough extra heat to really make the difference um, you know we were down uh, nearly to single digits last night and this this was actually pretty nice and cozy like this so so it works really really well so here we are. I just set it in here like this. So like this, now I'm just sitting like this. I can, I'm comfortable with that backpack behind my back. It gives me a nice, a nice uh, slope uh, back up to the tree. I can just, I can lay like this. I can sleep. If you can sleep in a lazy boy, you can sleep like this. And you'll actually sleep more comfortably like this than you would. <clears throat> uh, laying down if now some people might be worried if this thing happened to tip over what happens is the the wick is in the in the wax and it's, it's melted a little pool of wax around the wick and that's what keeps it going if that thing tips what happens is the wax ex extinguishes it sloshes and extinguishes the wick so you know you don't have to worry about it. you're gonna have it's not like gasoline or or oil or alcohol or something like that where you're gonna tip it over and all of a sudden you got a pool of burning stuff inside of here so it's I've actually done it quite a number of times just experimenting and it it does it puts it right out <laughs> and uh, but anyway so that's how you do it like that and I'm telling you what it's very nice and cozy all right so one of the principles we're dealing with here is uh, in studying some of the um, some of the writings of some of the uh, Inuit, or used to be called the Eskimos. Uh, <clears throat> some of those, uh, I've read some things where they're kind of explaining some of their lifestyle and some of that sort of thing, the things they did. Um, one thing that was mentioned was that if they got into a storm or something or had to kind of, kind of had to stop somewhere, they like to do a seated, a seated position kind of like this. Because in everything they did, they're dealing with trying to maximize the effect that, you know, hot air rises. 
So hence in their in their igloos, you know, their their floor space is lower than their sleeping platform because the coldest air will be at the bottom. So they want to be closer to the top of the igloo because that's where the warmest air is. The same thing with their clothing. It's all designed in a similar kind of fashion as as the poncho here with the fleece inside where when you when you uh, fasten in the sides and and all that all the body heat your legs everything is all wants to be trapped up around your neck and so it it holds the heat from there down which helps to retain all that heat inside because heat wants to rise so it's trapped around your chest the core of your body which that's the essential thing you want to keep warm so we're doing the same thing here um, <clears throat> In this seated bivy is is we're we're going down to the ground with this, and uh, we're trapping all the heat inside up around our chest and all that. So we want to keep that nice and toasty warm because that'll help keep uh, your your body temperature where it needs to be and keep you functioning right. And when we put the uh, the little uh, micro candle lantern inside, we're just uh, we're just improving on that by. <clears throat> by adding a little extra heat besides your body heat to the situation. So it really, really makes it nice. It's a this seated bivy. You can do it in the summertime, the wintertime, any time of the year. It's, a, it's just a, another way to get comfortable. And uh, so have a great day. Enjoy your time outdoors. I'm, uh, my fire over there is going pretty good now. I'm getting ready to cook me some breakfast.